Manual sharing allows users to grant one-off access to their records. Every now and then, users need access to records which they normally don't have access to. And you can't really ask admins to do all of the sharing a card by record. This is where privileges of manually sharing records comes into play. Let's see what is manual sharing and how it works. When your organization-wide defaults is set to private or public read-only for objects, you use role hierarchy and open up access to managers, leaders, and VPs. You use sharing rules to share a group of records owned by users and group of records based on criteria and share it with users. Or you use teams for collaborating on certain objects. Now, if all of this does not provide access to a specific record that a user wants, what you can finally do is use manual sharing to simply grant one-off access to those users on specific records. And this can be easily done by users who have those privileges. When they have those manual sharing privileges, what they would do is simply click the sharing button in the record and then choose to share records with users. Using manual sharing, you can share account records, contact records, opportunities, cases, leads, and any custom objects. Now, who has privileges to manually share record? Obviously, the owner of the record has full access, so they will be able to share record. Now, if you're above the owner of a record in a role hierarchy, you also inherit the full privileges, so you would also be able to share the records. So owners can share, Anyone above the owner in the role hierarchy can share, and administrators can share. Now, when you manually share record, you can share it to individual users, or users in a public group, or to roles and roles and subordinates. And with this flexible sharing, you would be able to easily grant one-off access to more than one users at a time. Now, when you share records, depending on the type of record you're sharing, for example, if you're sharing an account record, you would also be able to additionally share its related records such as contacts, opportunities, and cases, and decide whether they get read access or write access for those records as well. Now, if you're going to only share opportunity-specific record or a case-specific record, you might want to know that the person you are sharing it with should have at least read access on that account record. With that, let's go and see how manual sharing can be done in an org. To manually share a record, let's go to the org. And I'm going to choose to share an opportunity record to someone who normally don't have read-write permission on opportunity records. That is, let's say a support engineer in our org needs access to a specific opportunity. In this case, let's take this opportunity Alpha Outdoors 50 Boys Clubs. Opening this record, you can share this record manually by clicking Sharing button. The sharing button will bring up a share window for you where you can choose to share it with an individual user or a public group or a role or role and subordinates in that role hierarchy. So if I want to specifically share it with the user, I can go and select the user. Let's assume Jane is that support user that we wanted to share it with. And what we are sharing is just this record, not group of records, just this opportunity called Alpha Outdoor Goods. And then I the maximum permission you can give through manual sharing is read only or read write. Depending on your organization wide settings, you would be able to open up read access or read and write access. Let's say we want this user to have read and write access and click save. That's it. So owners, anyone about the owners in the role hierarchy and administrators can simply use manual sharing to share access to a record. Now, if I go back to this sharing, you can also see that currently this record is shared with five different groups of users. And if I click Edit next to that, you can find out who those users are. We have a user named Alima, given read-write access, and also by other means given all access. Jane, to whom we just gave an access to read and write. Marketing manager, all the marketing manager roles and the subordinate roles have read and write access. And US sales team has read-only access. Now, if I click View Sharing Hierarchy, either by going here, you can also go directly by clicking the button Sharing Hierarchy. And this gives you an idea about who is in those five groups. So because the roles and subordinates includes a lot more users, you can see the list of all users currently 
having access to offer outdoor goods 50 boys class opportunity. We have 26 users and one of them is Jane Senior. We gave read and write access. If you go click view next to the user access details, you will notice that the reason for Jane Senior having access to this record is because of manual sharing and that we have given read and write permission. Now, if I log into Jane Senior and then access opportunities, you would find for this record alone, she has read and write permission. As you have seen, it is easy for anyone who has the sharing privileges to share access to records quickly using the sharing button. Now, owners, anyone above the owners in the role hierarchy and administrators can share records whenever other users need it. Now, you would only be using manual sharing when it is not possible to set up role hierarchies, sharing rules to give them access. One important thing to note here is because users like owners can share records, what happens if those owners are no longer in your org? Meaning the user is inactive, maybe left the company. In that case, this sharing privileges no longer is valid. So if you have shared to someone a record manually and you become inactive, that sharing privileges is gone, taken away, revoked. So manual sharing is a quick way to grant one-off access to individual records, which can benefit in collaborative sharing.